The message sent by today's memorial, held here at the Great Hall of the People, was the same as it has been since Deng died six days ago. Stability and continuity. The memorial followed the same pattern as other official events during the period of mourning, controlled and choreographed. Prominent among the 10,000 official mourners were China's Politburo, Deng's family, military leaders and Hong Kong's chief executive designate, Tung Chi Hua. They stood for nearly an hour while President Jiang Zemin delivered his eulogy, pausing occasionally, apparently overcome by emotion. Jiang stood before a huge portrait of Deng, beneath which lay a casket containing Deng's ashes, draped in the Communist Party flag. He first repeated the same official account of Deng's life that has been broadcast almost non-stop since he died. But Jiang also looked to the future, stressing the continuation of Deng's economic policies. Deng was the first to put forward the idea that in socialism a market economy is possible. So he opened the road and showed us how to combine the two to develop and liberalize the production force. Jiang also underlined the central role of the Communist Party in China's future. The Chinese Communist Party will be the leading force in building up socialism with Chinese characteristics. As Comrade Deng has told us, the Communist Party will be the key to success or failure of our cause. Those not among the official mourners filling the cavernous hall found their own ways to mark Deng's final passing. In front of Beijing's main train station, sirens blared as people stood in silence, watching the memorial on a giant television screen. People gathered around television sets in Beijing's main shopping street. School children were assembled to watch the ceremony. And at the Beijing Commodities Exchange, the existence of which is due to Deng's free market policies, traders observed a minute's silence. One of those present later had this to say. All of them stood there for more than one hour and paid their great tribute uh, to this uh, great leader. I think, uh, I think this is uh, uh, what deserves, uh, what uh, Mr. Deng deserves, and he really had the greatest respect of the people of the whole country. Premier Li Peng concluded the memorial by leading the mourners in bowing three times before Deng's remains, a traditional show of respect, though one that Deng had reportedly requested not be performed. As the mourners filed out, offering their condolences to Deng's widow and family, they were left in no doubt of Jiang's intentions to uphold Deng's dual legacy of free market economics and tight political control. Jiang Zemin emphasized in his funeral eulogy, China will continue Deng's economic policy of opening its doors to the outside world. But we can also expect China's politics will continue to be conducted behind closed doors. Robert Stern, CNBC Business News, Beijing.